Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be a very, very different type of video for me. Uh, my three year sort of YouTube anniversary is just on the horizon. And I wanted to make this video about what sort of YouTube has meant to me, what the impact it has had on me since I started. And yeah, just wanted to talk about that and talk about, you know, the, some of the positives that come from it. Um, but I think to sort of get into that, I've got to start back at the beginning of YouTube for me, which was, like I said, it's coming up to three years now. So <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to start doing a YouTube channel was I'd wanted to start, I'd wanted, I'd, I'd wanted to do it for a long time. I've been watching YouTubers talk about, you know, some of my favorite things, like movies, figures, collecting, all this stuff. Lots of different channels I'd watch from the UK and America and Canada and things like that. Uh, but I, I just didn't have the the bottle or the ore to, to, to want to do it. And it had always been in the back of my mind. I, I do do a YouTube channel someday. It's not going to be that hard. It's not, it's not going to be, it's going to be amazing to do, but never, ever got around to it always wanted to do it i thought i've got the hobby i've got the passion i've got the love to to talk about this because things we just don't have the people in our everyday lives we can share common interests with you don't bump into people with the same interests every day but i just thought you know maybe one day i'll, I'll sit down and do it but what really sort of kick-started me to do it was not a lot of people know this but Prior to starting YouTube, I went through, I just started to go through um, a breakup um, in a relationship. I'd been in a relationship for nine years and that relationship came to an end. And it's a big life changing thing. It's not, it's certainly not the best thing to go through, but we go through it as humans and it was, it's a rough time. It can be a rough time for anyone. But yeah, for me, it was, it was, it, it's hard. It was a hard thing to go through. Nine years is a long time. Well, that kind of kick-started me and, and it sort of ignited something in me to sort of say, you know what, just start doing YouTube and talk about what you want to talk about on YouTube because I think it would just be a shame if you didn't and that's what really was the catalyst for me I just was going through a rough time it was a big life-changing thing <clears throat> and I just thought you know what sit down do YouTube and let's just see what happens up you know I just want to do it for fun. I just want to talk about what I enjoy, you know, what my hobbies are, what I want to do, what I love doing, and just talk about it in a video, record it. You don't have to sort of post it. You can just sit there with a camera, record yourself. No one's going to see it unless you post it. So if you're not happy with it, don't do it. And that was my philosophy. That was where I wanted to take it and move forward with it. And I just said, yeah, let's do videos. They're not going to be amazing. This is, your, this is your first attempt. Record something, put it out there and we'll just, whatever happens after that is a bonus for me. And that's what really was my approach to it. And that's exactly what I did. I thought, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. Let's just record a video, put it out there and see what happens. And that's, yeah, like I said, that's exactly what I did. And yeah, slow going, of course. It was exactly what I expected it to be. And then it kind of sort of snowballed for me. It was really John over at Mondo Chalavit who discovered me and gave me that, gave me a shout out, which I wasn't expecting. It was very, very surreal to hear your name, your channel being mentioned by someone else. It was a surreal experience. And it kind of sort of snowballed from there. I absolutely owe sort of everything to John because that was kind of the Kickstarter for that. 
And again, another person I really want to sort of give a mention to was Pete from Playtender Guy. I'd been watching his streams and we really sort of hit it off um, talking to each other. He was the first person I really sort of talked to from YouTube. And those live streams we did together were absolutely amazing and phenomenal. I, I love doing them. He sort of, we, we became friends and we had an amazing time with those live streams it was just a phenomenal um experience to, to 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 meet other people and it was just absolutely we connected with so many different people it was just it was just an amazing amazing uh, thing and yeah it just really sort of opened these doors to sort of meeting people on youtube talking to people again similar interests that were just i i just wasn't getting sort of everyday life it was a real, real treat and a real, real breath of fresh air. And I think going into this now, three years later, I've always said this, and it's my it's my biggest piece of advice I can give to anyone who is thinking of starting a YouTube channel, is my biggest regret with YouTube is that I didn't start it earlier. But you can only start it when the time is right for you. You've got to be happy. You've got to be comfortable. Uh, you've got to do what's best for you and what feels right. But for me, I hit that point in time where I thought, you know what? Got nothing to lose. We'll give it a go. And it was the right time for me. But there'll always be that inkling in the back of my head that says you should have started it sooner. Because I've had such a blast. I've had such an amazing time with this YouTube journey so far. I have met some fantastic amazing people who will probably go on to be friends for life for me through youtube and it's just been an amazing thing i've had conversations with people here in the uk people abroad in america absolutely in insane you know prior to starting youtube the the thought of that was just so out there so unreachable but here i am i've 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 met some amazing people and have made some great friends on here. And yeah, it's just been everything that I couldn't have expected it to be and more. But there's bit like I said like I said earlier, there's there's people I've watched on YouTube, there's there's people I used to follow, there's people I used to follow because the people didn't I'm not gonna name names at all, but there's people who didn't turn out to be who I thought they were. And it was quite upsetting. I've seen I've seen channels who I've absolutely loved come and go, which is an absolute shame. There's 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 you people I've seen on YouTube who have decided to sort of leave YouTube behind them, and that is completely their their decision, which I 100% respect. But just know. I want them to know if they ever are watching or if they ever do see this video that they are missed. Not just by me, but by other YouTubers as well. And it's just been, that's been quite upsetting to see people, people stop doing it. But for me personally, I've, in, I've, I've enjoyed this journey. There has been some bumps along the way, but yeah, you've got to be quite thick-skinned, I think, to sort of deal with YouTube. It's not for everyone. It is. It, it does have a dark side to it. But if you can cope with that, if you can deal with that, you can laugh that off. Take out all the, all the negativity with a pinch of salt. I think you'll do all right and you'll be all right. But this for me now, if coming up to three years, I just wanted to make this little video sort of say like what it has meant to me and what the impact has been. And it's just been phenomenal. And I hope to stick around talking about movies, making YouTube videos for uh, hopefully as long as possible because I absolutely enjoy it. I absolutely love it. I love talking with people about it. I love having the same opinions, having different opinions with so many different people. And it just makes for such great conversation that, like I said, you can't really get in everyday life but yeah for me i've had a blast with it and again my biggest regret with it is that i didn't start it sooner but you've got to do it when the time's right for you and f for me 
that was the right time. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. So, that's me. Those are my thoughts. That's what YouTube sort of meant to me, what it's done for me. And, yeah, just, it's been a great experience so far. So, yeah, go leave the video there, guys, and say thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.